Hello, in this module we will see how to work with R for stratified data analysis. In any trial when we are having data of different factors and we may think that one factors one group is having more influence of response variable in comparison to other in that case we can go for stratified data analysis for example we want to find out influence of age on blood pressure so blood pressure is a response variable and age is a covariate when we find out the relation and influencing relations that having high age having higher blood pressures we may conclude that high age groups or older age groups having positively associated with high blood pressures but in this data set we are having another variable that is called salt intake by the individuals when we have separated our data set into salt intake or salt not intake and after that we do make again statistical inference that those were salt taker what is the influence of age on their diastolic blood pressures or systolic blood pressures and again those who are not salt taker what is the relations of their age on their blood pressure that is maybe this diastolic blood pressure as well as systolic blood pressures that statistical inference can be observed there those are having salt taker among them influence of age was more for blood pressures and those who are having not salt intake in their food they are having less strong associations between age with their blood pressures so that is a an example where we can go for stratified analysis it is important to be considered each and every variable for possible stratifications and after that go to adopt the stratificate analysis if it having meaningful information over there one of the limitations of stratified analysis that it reduce the sample size in the data set obviously the statistical inference power goes down when you go for statistical stratified data analysis here we are going for r code for stratified data analysis our learning objectives to be stratified data analysis using r on uh, systolic blood pressure data uh, where the uh, blood pressure data is being uh, taken as jab with function uh, data of bp and use bp and ds with parenthesis is shows us this how many variables are here and how many total number of observations are here it shows that total number of observations equals to 100 and variable are id uh, sex sbp dbp salt added or not and uh, birth date so class of these variables like id is integer uh, described as id sex is a factor variable that male and female systolic blood pressure that is sbp is given is as integer it's a systolic bp dbp is the integer again it shows as diastolic bp and so salt added or not as factor as table now summary summ will show us the 
what is mean value median value standard error and minimum and maximum value of this object of these variables so here id having total all these variables having 100 each observations and uh, it shows that id uh, started from 1 to 100 because there is not any meaning to consider mean median and standard error for id 6 also integer <coughs> factor variable so there is not any meaning to consider the mean and median value for uh, 6 also it is quoted as 1 and 2 so historic blood pressures uh, is observed with mean value 154.34 with the median value 148 and uh, minimum value 80 and maximum value 238 the historic blood pressures also observed with 98.51 mean value and median value 96 where salt added or not is given as 1 and 2 and out of 100 individuals only 80 individuals measurements were found and 20 individuals salt intake value was not given this summary of data dot frame of 6 and salt add is showing that out of this uh, data set of 100 individuals male were 45 and female were 55 and salt added to them only 37 were having salt added in their food and uh, no, yes, not salt added was for 37 individual and yes was for 43 and 20 observations were given as not available information. Now age consider as here we convert it into age in days by this function as dot date 2001 3 12 minus birth date and age as dot numeric of age in days is converted into a years. So thereafter we had considered the sum SBP by salt add or observation of 37 individuals mean 137.5 with median 132 standard deviation 29.624 with minimum value for systolic blood pressures is considered as 80 with maximum 201. So for those who are having salt added for them this minimum systolic blood pressure also observed 80 with maximum 224 having mean systolic blood pressure value 163. So you can say, uh, see this from this summary table those who are having salt intake uh, their mean systolic blood pressure value was quite low. From this table we can see that those who are having salt intake uh, uh, in their food they are having high uh, systolic blood pressure in comparison to that those who are not having salt intake where summary of salt add is given so now we try to find out the relations between age and salt intake so those who are taking salt what is the group wise difference so we found out that age wise mean age was not different among those who are salt taker or not so all age group people having equal salt intake so that's why p value is coming 0.64 and that function is obtained by aov so aov as we have seen earlier aov is useful to do the analysis of variance and it's compared the age wise and salt intake wise comparison now we have considered the linear modeling and this linear modeling we are used as lm uh, to find out the age wise systolic blood pressure difference and uh, the results shows that there is a significant difference on age with systolic blood pressure. So, since uh, age regression coefficients is coming 1.8422 with standard error 0.2997 and T value is coming 6.147 with P value 1.71 multiplied with 10 to the power minus 8. So, its highly significant value is there since age is also regression coefficients coming positive so it can stated that those were having high age these are having high systolic blood pressure and significantly high systolic blood pressures so here 95% uh, confidence interval is calculated and uh, age statistics is found with 37.78 with 1 degree of 98 degree of freedom now we will go to plot the relation between age and systolic blood pressures 
and uh, in these uh, functions we will also plot coefficients obtained from LM1 in this uh, plotting. So, this is the line and thereafter we will put the app line of LM1 and let us see the data. So, this is the results obtained by putting the statutory blood pressure and age. So, y axis showing the uh, years in age this is a plot uh, shows the uh, scatter uh, diagram between age and systolic blood pressures. So, y axis showing the systolic blood pressure and x axis showing the age in years. So, it shows that a positive trend is observed those are having high age group they are having high uh, systolic blood pressures and this app line this one line has been obtained and show that and that line is obtained by app line of LM1 that app line of LM1 is considered by the linear modeling that we have seen. Next relations that is to explore the relation between systolic blood pressures with age and salt intake salt and as written here. So, it is it is assigned into LM2. So, LM SBP with age and salt added with summary LM2 has been given here. So, intercept is estimated as 63.12 with standard error 15.76 p value 4.005 with probability. Here again we try to find out the relation with age and salt added on systolic blood pressures. Combined effect of uh, age and salt intake dot on systolic blood pressure is observed. So, as the intercept uh, we found that estimate with 63.12 and standard error 15.76 with t value 4.005 and p value 0.00142. But here we should not consider the p value for intercept, we will concentrate on the p value for age and p value for age is coming as highly significant with 3.81 with 10 to the power minus 6. Whereas uh, age estimate is showing coming positive as 1.55 with standard error 0.31 and t value 4.979. So, it shows that as age increases, sexual blood pressure increases significantly. And salt intake has given us salt add with yes or no. So, no was categorized as uh, 0 and 1 or yes, yes is categorized as 1. So, salt uh, add yes also having positive correlations with these sustrial blood pressures. And that for that estimate is coming positive 22.99. So, salt intake yes add yes is having positively significant associations on systolic blood pressures and it also shows significantly influencing on systolic blood pressure. So, both factors considered here in this linear model age and salt add both are having positive influence on systolic blood pressure. Numerically both factors value increasing systolic blood pressures increasing. So, now we are going for another Plotting in this plotting, we try to find out age, systolic blood pressures, like earlier slide. But in addition to that, we also trying to put uh, points of age who are having salt add uh, stated as no, and uh, and colored as a blue, and point those who are having salt add as yes, and wanted to point in them as a red. So. In earlier slide, we could find out who are taking salt and who are not taking salt. Only the relation between age in years and uh, systolic blood pressures is considered. But here, the same function we are using. But in addition to that, we are also applying the uh, plotting for salt added or not. And salt added is colored by blue, and salt not added colored by red here. And uh, also, we are putting the coefficient of LM2 in this plot. So, let us see the plots here. So, this is the example. Obtain the relation between uh, systolic blood pressures by age is obtained, but uh, uh, differentiate with color salt added and salt not added. Same x axis showing the years of these individuals in age and y axis showing these uh, systolic blood pressures. But Red color since in the earlier slide we had mentioned the red colors for those who are taking salt 
and blue color for those who are not taking salt so same thing the red color diamond red colors point shows that those who are taking salt and blue color showing those who are not taking salt so it can be visually it can be confirmed that those who are having salt in tank they are having higher uh, side systolic blood pressures in comparison to that those who are not taking salt now the graphs obtained from the earlier code um, is here it uh, given two lines one is uh, red color for those who are having salt added and blue color lines a uh, blind lines for those who are not taking salt add uh, so salt add for those who are having no and salt add those who are having yes that is going as red colors and it can easily state that yeah definitely this as age increases systolic blood pressure also increases but uh, uh, but there is a, a higher difference in this blood pressure increase uh, those who are having salt add they are having higher chance of inclining their systolic blood pressure uh, with inclining their age in comparison to those who are having uh, systolic uh, blood pressure but not taking salt uh, they are also having positive trend with inclining the age but they, it was quite less in comparison to uh, salt added pupils so it can be easily concluded that systolic blood pressures positively influencing the system influenced by so it can be finally comment that salt add positively influencing the systolic blood pressures and age also inclining the uh, systolic blood pressure as it increases so separately this analysis is need to be conduct because when we are having two uh, factors then it is very important to find out in which directions these two factors are influencing the response variable here we have seen uh, one example on uh, systolic blood pressure with age and salt add and initially we had conducted the study with graphical exposure we found that as age increases then systolic blood pressure increases but when after that when we consider that salt added as an another variable in addition to age we also found that as uh, salt added yes the systolic blood pressure increases so thereafter it was uh, attempt to consider the uh, stratified analysis that is the importance to be considered the stratified analysis there after we separated the whole data set into two uh, part one part as a salt added yes another part as salt added no and for those having salt added yes for them we also find out the relation between age and systolic blood pressures those are having salt added no for them we also find out the relation with systolic blood pressure with age in both case we found that age is having influencing on high systolic blood pressure but trend was quite low in one group that is having salt at no in comparison to another group that was having salt at yes so this is the example where we can use this stratified analysis in other case also where we found that two to three factors combinedly contributing the response inter of interest then separate stratified analysis required to perform to uh, to reduce the influence of one factor on others here in this module we have seen how to work with stratified data analysis using r we have considered one real life example initially we had considered the data exploration technique and thereafter statistical inference about stratified data analysis has been considered here i hope you enjoyed this sessions and it will help you to put some lights on how to work with stratified data analysis.